All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Gears Tactics Part Thirty Four. And welcome back. We've got a interesting start this time because as I was, I was about five or six minutes into Part Thirty Four's recording when a thunderstorm took out the power of my apartment and the computer turned off. Obviously, that crashed the game. <laughs> it did more than crash the game. My computer turned off, so it's it's it's. Yeah. Uh, here is the recording um, that got all corrupted. This is when I had just started and messed up the intro, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And uh, yeah, so this is the one that got corrupted. It's just an MP4 file. There's only audio, no video. Um, because the G4 Shadow Experience obviously crashed with my computer turning off and it didn't save it correctly. This is corrupted. And I don't know what this game is going to do when I'm already five minutes into a mission and the game just unexpectedly closes down. So we're gonna close. We're gonna open this and hope everything's okay. Nothing's corrupted or anything like that. That would be devastating. Our scouts have a beat on valuable gear located nearby, but the grubs have a beat on it too. Snag the cases and watch those bombs. Okay, so it's starting us over from here. This is a little behind where we were, but not the end of the world. So, <laughs> welcome back. I think we're going to be okay from here. It is a scavenger run. We're having to do three side missions, and we're going to have to take 12 people out. So, on this mission, we took Eddie Wild Ledette, Kong Buckshot Halsey, our new level 6 sniper, uh, we have three snipers now between Milo, Wraith Slater, Buckshot, and Michaela. So, I because we're doing three missions, I wanted to take a sniper on each mission, because these snipers are so overpowered. Support here. Uh, we also have Diana Rogue Key, right and we have Reina Torres. So, Reina Torres can do a lot of extra movement and extra actions, so she's fast. And uh, Rogue is going to give more actions, because we have to complete this mission fast. We have nine or less turns, and we just got here. We gotta, we gotta move. And also, the uh, extra difficulty of this mission is that any... Yeah, the mission modifier is that any enemy in cover and not flanked gets plus 200% evasion, which basically means it's going to be impossible to hit anything in cover. So these two torque bows down here are now a problem. Um, so, let's see what we can do with what we have. This sprint couldn't make it um, last time either. Last time we went to this full cover, I think I'm going to go to this half cover. On the run. <laughs> if it restarted us, we might as well take advantage of it if we can. We could double shot right here. We could also rampage right here, just right off the bat. Let's do that. Good. Good. And... Good. Two for one. And then she has, we took anticipation so that next turn she can have a really good turn. But we'll hold on to that for now, make sure that's what we want to do. Let's take this with Jack. And then I want to send Jack here and send a shot capsule on this guy is what we did. Because the fact that they're like unhittable in cover, that's not what I did. That is what I did, but I had okay, so we had downed this guy last time and executed him, so he had one more action. He's not cloaked now, so now I'm super concerned. The fact that we had to restart this is really throwing me for a loop. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot. This is not good. Alright, so we went here, we did a chain shot. Okay, now we're not going to get an execute. Damn it. That is so not good. This is so bad, actually, because now... Oh, my God. Jack is completely exposed. Ready. Let's empower you. We've shocked this one, so if we kill this one, we're in the clear. All right, and then this is... I mean, we had moved Eddie before. Hold up. There. 
Uh, I think this is where we were before the power went out and it crashed. Except for last time, this was a down, not a crit kill. And so Eddie was able to have one action left right here, and he had executed this guy to give everyone else an extra action. So things went a little worse this time. But, okay. So... Fifty-seven percent chance we kill him outright, which happened. And this guy's shocked, so he can't stop us. Good. Okay. So Jack being exposed did was not ideal, but we're gonna be okay. Let's use anticipation so that next turn gets an extra action. And then Wilds can move his way down here on his way to pick up that torque bow. Same with this sniper. Alright, Buckshot. Okay, so not exactly the same as last time, but kind of the same as last time. And we're already ahead of the bombing, that's nice. This will be good. On my way. Let me see what this looks like. Oh, this is a flank. Would you look at that? Okay. Can we bayonet, though? Yes, sir. Let's just do that. There you go, wild. Alright, both torque bows are on the ground now. Good. Let's have wild pick one up. Yeah, have wild pick one up. He's got badass if he does get hit for some reason. I'm listening. You. Um, let's have Reyna go pick up one. Sure. Look at that movement. Love it. Okay, we've got two torque bows now, so things are looking really nice. I don't see this going wrong now that we have two torque bows, to be honest. No enemies yet. We're making great speed right now, by the way. We are we are cruising on this, and I'm loving it. Okay. Let's keep it going. So other than not getting that execute, this is basically going how it went last time. And now it's all new stuff. So it looks like the crash isn't going to be the end of the world. It is unfortunate we're going to be missing, obviously, like six minutes of recording at the beginning. Choosing our soldiers and deciding who to take with us and all that good stuff. But other than choosing who to take with us and everything, we're not missing anything else. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy, isn't it? Okay, moving. Low power shot from Reyna can take all of them out, can't that? Can it? Kind of. A lot of them, at least. <laughs> Those are deviant snipers. Two of them. I want to level up Reyna, because she's a hero. And heroes, if they die, it's over. So, yeah, if I can get kills on Reyna, that's ideal. But now she's standing in the open, so let's move her. Get Jack moving this way towards that case over there. Can he get behind this wall? No, he can't. We'll close. Vanguard reporting in. Vanguard reporting in. Hit chance 100. What? How? <laughs> Explain. Ready. Let me see here. High power shot right there, a hundred percent. Really? What is this aim on these on this on these torque bows? Torque bows are crazy. There's no there's no AOE when he does that, but oh well. Not the end of the world. Buckshot can go grab this. We are cooking right now. Hey. Hey. Can go chainsaw this guy with Rogue. 
that way we still have two shots with both torque bows. Oh yeah, we are we are more than ready. Yep. On the move. All right. What do they got now? A deviant drone and three disciples. Easy cooking for some torque bows. Okay, Jack needs to speed up a bit. Yep. Oh boy. All right, Jack, grab the cases. You're not gonna have cloak, but that'll be all right. They're not going to shoot you all the way back here. Feeling pretty good about that, actually. Feeling pretty confident that won't happen. Okay, let's slide for some extra distance. There we go. Is there a high power shot from here? 10% hit chance? No, that's not good enough. Fast fingers? No, not good enough. Yes. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let's empower Reyna and then have her use exertion too and she's going to have all the actions. Can you go over five actions though? Let's find out. Yeah, seven actions. Let's go Reyna. There's two actions to get there. Sprint to get there. Oh, she's about to cook these people. Yeah, this looks really nice. Some damage on the le left guy will over half on these two, which is very important. And then she has another shot. means we should definitely teamwork on Reyna here. Rip them apart. No mercy. Reading you. All right, here's the last shot with the torque bow. His low power shot isn't reached, does it? No, not really. Okay. 70% high power shot. That might kill two things, really? What is it obstructed by? It's obstructed by Reyna. Let's not do that. Heading there now. Target in sight. Um. That would kill both of them. Seventy-seven percent chance. I'm gonna take the 70 here with, with, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Eddie. Oh my god. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, and she almost died, died. We almost just lost our whole game. Sniper here. Oh. My. God. I will never, ever do that again. That was horrendous. I cannot believe that is possible. I can't believe that just happened. I need her out of the way. Holy shit, she's in so much trouble. We, we were 69 damage away from just straight up losing our whole Iron Man because of that missed high power shot from Eddie Wild. Eddie Wild almost ended our whole career. What the hell? That's so bad. I'm out. I can't believe that happened. 
That is unbelievable. I can't believe that. This run should basically be over, if not for Rena surviving that with 69 HP. Wow. F you, Eddie. You suck. I can't believe he did that. I even moved her to get her out of the way. For no reason, apparently. I can't believe that happened. Imagine we lose this whole game because Eddie can't hit the broad side of a barn. And if when he does miss, he hits his allies. Never using a high power shot again. Low power only. Because low power can't miss. I'm not even kidding. I'm never using a high power shot dead. again with a torque bow. It's not happening. Ever, ever, ever. It's called efficiency. Support on standby. Never, ever, ever you got it. using high power shot with a torque bow again. Yeah. <laughs> Too dangerous. It's just too dangerous. Move here and we'll cloak. Jesus. I can't believe that happened. We've gone from never getting downed to being downed in back-to-back -back missions. Um, the first down was entirely my fault. That was definitely my fault, getting that guy shot by those two overwatches. That one... I, I am just shocked that that one happened, to be honest. Alright, reload. Wow. Well, I got nothing else to say. I'm speechless by the fact that Eddie just ended, just almost ended our entire playthrough. Absolutely speechless. Let's get out of here. Jesus. That was so bad. I really thought I had him power. Son of a bitch. I'm just tilted now. I'm just tilted. Here they come. We can take first some fun shots. For some for fun shots, but I'm a little wary about taking any shots since Eddie is going to try to kill anybody he hits, but he'll only try to hit his friends, which is concerning. I'm so, I'm so tilted by this. Can you tell? I can't believe that happened. Eddie, dude, what was that? Wild is right. My god. I'm listening. Hey. Oh. I'm so tilted. Here comes a frag. Just trying to get some extra experience before we leave. Move Jack out of the way, just make sure he doesn't get hit by friendly fire either. Nice chain shot. <laughs> Another chain shot. Need a reload soon. Interesting. That's a lot of extra actions. No fast fingers, oh well. Reload. Reload. Ultimate shot. Just just cuz. Done. And we leave. Stay down. On the move. Boy oh boy. Boy oh boy. This is just a this is probably our worst episode. <laughs> Between the Wild's torque bow shot almost ending our entire playthrough by killing a hero and the recording corruption at the beginning. 
We got to bounce back and do better than that. Oh my good god. That's the closest we've been to losing the whole thing. Okay, epic cases. Let's open them up. Nope, we don't need Overwatch on our Mulcher. We have Bloodlust on our Mulcher. Gren Grenadier, 25% defrag and stim grenade effects and 30 health. That might actually get used. 10% accuracy on a Lancer. That's not awful. Focus on a, la on a Mulcher. No thanks. Not over Bloodlust. 45 health and 20% crit hit resist. That's interesting. It's good to not get crit. Long shot mod, less crit chance, but more damage. By a lot. No, it's a scope though, so that's not gonna get used. Yeah, that's just a better scope. Wow, we actually got an upgrade. Usually Gabe doesn't get upgrades. Um, Captain Axe Morgan, what are you wearing? Champion? When he executes, each allies heal for 10% max HP. Yeah, keep that, actually. Uh, what is Casey Crash wearing? Let's give her the, um, Grenadier. Yeah. I like that more. You know what, actually? I gotta change this to blue, though, because that's her color scheme. Where's her version of blue? Here it is. She had like this whole color scheme going on. And we've ruined it. Tell you what, I'll give her the, the crit resist. That looks good on her. And I'll give someone else the grenadier stuff. <laughs> because it, it actually looks that good on her. I'm not even like trying to be difficult. Here, she's a vanguard. We can give her the grenadier stuff. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, that was... God, that was stressful. Time's down to one. Woo! So we did that. Now we need to do um, control and sabotage. So we were doing these three because they got us armor pieces, which is the only thing we really need to upgrade left. Our weapons that look really nice already. Um, speaking of, let's just go tell the game that we don't need to change our stuff. Bloodlust, thank you. 100% crit da damage, thank you. And 20 damage to disrupt instead of 30 damage. Yeah, we'll take 10 less damage for disrupt, sure. We'll actually use that. So, the control mission, boomers get plus 50% attack range, so boomers are basically going to be always be, are always going to be able to hit us. So we're taking Sid on that, we're taking Cheetah on that, we're taking, like, healers on that, because I think things, I think people are getting hit on that. Um, and then enemies take no damage from Overwatch is fine on this sabotage mission, we'll do this next time. We'll take Michaela on this one, probably, and take the rest of the A-team on Crush Dragon. And we'll send um, Captain Morgan with them because boomers are going to hit people. I think that's unavoidable. And so we'll probably take uh, Casey Crash Bright, Milo Wraith Slater, Mikhail. No. Maybe we take Wraith on the Crush Dragon one. And then because we're taking Michaela on Sinister Tiger. Yeah. And then we need to choose who else we're taking. Which means we're probably going to be taking one of these level 6s we just picked up. Probably Carmen, if I'm being honest. Any interesting recruits? Ninja. <laughs> Chum, the sniper. Rook Angel Hodge. Oh, injured! Oh, that's new. Is she going to be injured? I wonder what, I wonder what that means. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know what that means, to be honest. But yeah, next time, Sinister Tiger. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Gears Tactics. Sorry for the short episode, but it's because some of it's just missing. And I'm so sorry about that high-powered shot into Reyna. That's going to tilt me for a very long time. I cannot believe 
Wild managed to miss in a way that almost ended our entire Iron Man. Wild, wild, wild. We're never using a high-powered shot again. Unless it is 100% in the clear. Like, even if it says 97% hit chance, I'm not doing it. I can't risk it. It has to be 100% or nothing. Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you again so much. I'll see all of you next time.